Good evening. What's going on there, guys? It is the Earth Master here on this uh, beautiful end of the weekend, Sunday, September 19th, 2021, about 9.55 p.m. Actually, it is 9.55, West Coast time, where the latest quake on the globe's a 3.8 up in Stanley, Idaho. Once again, still seeing some movement up there in Idaho. Let's go ahead and check out some activity. Um, on the USGS map, including uh, we're going to look at the uh, kind of what's going on with the uh, Cumbre, Cumbre Vija, right? I believe that's how you pronounce it. The volcano in the Canary Islands been getting uh, quite a bit of a request on what's going on in that area. There is some uh, potential and some chat about it possibly. Uh, producing a mega tsunami across the Atlantic. We'll check that out here in just a little bit. Uh, but looking at the West Coast activity, uh, looks pretty active once again over the last 24 hours, including some movement along the Calaveras Fault System here southwest or southeast of the Bay Area, stretching down into the creeping section of the San Andreas Fault. Also some movement outside of Chico uh, with a 2.5. 28 kilometers below surface, pretty deep, down into the Cascadia subduction zone, the southern end, uh, down there around the slippage area, but a little bit larger magnitude there, creating that uh, release of pressure down below. Uh, there is that 3.8 in Stanley, Idaho, a ways away from the swarm of activity um, that's kind of at the northern end of the Sawtooth Fault System. It's been pretty active over the last couple days it really ramped up yesterday, and it looks like uh, we're continuing with that movement uh, today, or at least tonight, with a 3.8, but about 10 miles to the east, due east of that area, about 10 kilometers below the surface for that 3.8. So we're keeping an eye on that. Been pretty active in that region. Up and down the Sierra Nevada as well, on the eastern crest, south of Reno, down through the Antelope Valley area. Uh, getting just a pretty good swarm of activity, line of activity in that region. Uh, Long Valley Super Volcano also showing some movement uh, right around the Caldera area as well, including a, a point four, just a little microquake within a Caldera. Most of the movement has been outside of the um, Super Volcano Caldera, but um, what do we got here within the last hour? A couple small microquakes kicking up in that region. Uh, movement down south in the Ridgecrest, pretty uh, typical there. Still seeing some aftershock activity. Uh, dwindling movement into Southern California, at least along the San Jacinto Fault area. Uh, still some microquake activity, but over here around the Los Angeles area, Carson, California region, getting in on some aftershock activity following that 4.3 that struck a couple days ago. So still looking at some increase in pressure along the west coast and into the pacific northwest as well texas has gone quiet around the pecos texas area normally that region is pretty active uh, for earthquake activity but a swarm of movement uh, into parts of uh, northern oklahoma let's see what we got going on out there in the satellite imagery uh, there is a bunch of fracking operations out there these are somewhat larger magnitudes as well for this region, 3.8. There's been a couple 3.8s in this area. Uh, most recently, uh, 3.1 and a 2.4. A lot of fracking operations up and down these roads here out in the, in the beautiful state of Oklahoma and uh, surrounding the earthquake activity that's taking place out there. You can see all these uh, pumping operations. All these little squares are not uh, beautiful farmhouses, but indeed, um, injection well sites I believe wastewater in that area uh, let's see what else we got here in the uh, let's get back out of there real quick New Madrid fault system is showing a little bit of movement um, 1.9 near Wrigley Tennessee East Coast Looking over here towards New York. Hmm, a 2.6. Kind of crazy, right? Off the coast, 
Rhode Island. 10 kilometers below the surface. Uh, kind of a big story right now. Not only the volcano in the Canary Islands, but uh, some movement taking place in the Puerto Rico area with an uptick of movement along the Puerto Rico Trench. Seen uh, quite a bit of uh, activity there, including a 4.2 way over west of the Puerto Rico region into Haiti. But uh, swarms kicking up here in Puerto Rico and also there's that line of activity kind of stretching from west to east in the Puerto Rico trench area uh, with some movement stretching uh, well that 4.3 here is in uh, uh, the Dominican Republic at 129 kilometers below surface pretty deep but most of this activity up here uh, we had one stretching down to about 44 kilometers so something to watch in Puerto Rico it's just getting pretty active worldwide at the moment in uh, some oddball spots Chile seeing a 4.1 right at the subduction zone. Going to watch that pretty closely as well. Uh, movement in Japan, 5.2. Still re remains relatively quiet uh, through the trench region up here. Some activity kicking up once again in the New Zealand area with a 4.5 and a 4.3. As we work our way to the west, up around the, the China area, did see some movement there as well. Or uh, India, I should say. Some deep movement over in the Indonesia area with a 4.4 down here. And the South Sandwich Islands getting in on only one earthquake today with a 4.8 in that region of the world. Let's check out the trimmer in the Cascadia Pacific Northwest. Man, check that out, folks. That's kind of a big number for just today. 294 epicenters uh, kicking off in the southern end of the Cascadia. It's a lot, a lot of movement kind of explaining the uh, surface quaking. I wouldn't really call it surface quaking, but the further activity that's taken place around Chico, kind of at the southern end. It branches down here a little bit. Um, it may not specifically show it directly on this map, but the uh, Juan de Fuca plate subducts underneath the North American plate uh, with the southern end stretching down into parts of the Sacramento Valley before it starts melting and uh, <coughs> creating the uh, volcanoes, right? fueling the volcanoes in the uh, Sierra Nevadas, uh, Lassen, and uh, areas to the north. So pretty big activity kicking up there in the Cascadia. Uh, the movement into Yellowstone. We did see a little bit of swarming. That has somewhat died down over the last couple hours. There's the four-pointer that just struck in the Idaho region. You can see that popping up there. Some microquake activity as well, but overall general activity somewhat dwindling down into the Yellowstone region. So we're talking about the uh, La Palma Canary Islands. A lot of social media buzz going on about uh, the potential for a large landslide taking place on the island of La Palma in the Atlantic Ocean from the uh, Cumbre Vija at the V. Vija? Vija? I believe that's Vija. I believe. If not, uh, well, it is what it is. Vija. Cumbre Vija. And there is that potential. It's not a uh, made up story. It's definitely the possibility of a giant collapse of the uh, of the region down there. And it's kind of kind of scary. It looks like the recurrence rate of a similar collapse is extremely low, according to these folks, but we don't really know, right? Just kind of taking a guess. About one every 100,000 years or less, uh, in the case of the Canary Islands, other volcanoes across the world are at risk of causing such tsunamis. So there's, there's uh, some scary numbers being thrown out, talking about potential for waves of... 330 feet high. Uh, well, that's according to a mega tsunami. Uh, but there is a, there's a lot of uncertainty on it, on if it's, uh, you know, could happen, gonna happen. It's just one of those things we've got to see, well, if it does happen. The Cum uh, Cumbre Vija volcano lies in the southern third of La Palma in the Canary Islands and rises about 1.2 miles, 2 kilometers above sea level. Uh, is the fastest growing volcano and thus dangerous in terms of collapses and landslides. So a lot of buildup over a short amount of time. 
Uh, several collapses took place in the past, followed by the growth of the Cumbre Vija during the last 125,000 years, uh, following a week of small earthquakes. The volcano started erupting on the 19th of September. Prior to that, the last eruption, folks, was back in 1971. Uh, let's see, a lot of movement, a wealth of information, folks, on this volcano. Uh, I don't know a whole huge lot about it, uh, but there is, you know, that major potential of possibly creating uh, a mega tsunami. So, here's a little explanation about the model. Uh, model by Ward and Day 2001, I, I guess, is when it was created. Uh, the authors use a linear wave theory to estimate the tsunami induced by the uh, simulated uh, Cumbre Vija. Vija? Vija? They use a scenario of collapse of 500 cubic kilometers uh, that moves at a rate of about 100 meters per second on top of a layer of mud or landslide, which lubricate its movement and eventually spreads. 60 kilometers to cover a jug-shaped area of... Well, there's a lot of numbers being thrown out here. Let's go ahead and get down to the details, though. Uh, two minutes, uh, 900 meter. Thick dome of water rises above the landslide, 3,000 feet. Uh, five minutes, the dome collapses to a height of, uh, looks like, 500 meters as it advances by 31 miles. Additionally, waves form. Uh, 10 minutes afterwards, the landslide is now over. Waves reaching, uh, looks like 400, 600 meters. That's freaking, that's pretty big. Hit the three Western Canary Islands. That's scary. 15 minutes to 60 minutes, 50 to 100 meter. That's 330 feet. High waves hit Africa. Uh, 500 kilometer wide train of waves advances across the Atlantic. Three to six hours of waves hit South America, Newfoundland, uh, reaching Heights of, uh, looks like 49.66 feet. Nine hours, waves 20 to 25 meters at 66 to 82 feet approach Florida. Uh, they are not expected to grow fur farther as they hit the coast. That's pretty huge though, folks. That's really huge. Uh, and then there's some later models. Um... Kind of downplaying it a little bit. But um, there's a lot. There's too much here to read. But uh, a lot of criticism, all as expected, right, in somebody's model. Um, we just we really don't know until it happens. But the potential is there, I think. Uh, probability. Uh, they use these numbers here once per 100,000 years and blah, blah, blah. It's just... Either way, the risk is there, and uh, it's something to keep an eye on. The uh, current uh, current status, at least here from the Volcano uh, dot ed Education website here. This article was just put out on the 14th, so it's not really super accurate. We do know it's erupting, and uh, there's quite a bit of information going on, and some uh, some cr pretty crazy videos and fissures opening up. A lot of stuff going on there in the uh, Canary Islands region. So we'll keep an eye on it, folks. Um, I don't have a whole lot of information on it. Just uh, what's going on on social media. I'm trying to see if I can't add a data station to the live seismographs of uh, uh, for the live stream so we can monitor the earthquake activity that's taking place kind of give us a, a general uh, idea of what's going on, at least uh, in that department. But I will include this Wikipedia article in the uh, description of this update video so you guys can go check it out and read. There's, Like I say, there's a lot, folks. There's a lot of information on that. Uh, nothing being picked up on the USGS, of course, uh, as far as the EMSC model, uh, as far as earthquake activity goes. Uh, not a whole lot either, folks. I mean, it's looking uh, at least quiet on this scale, but I know there's activity taking place. I just got to find it and uh, put that out there. So just 
you know, it's, it's crazy, folks. We're living in some crazy times. I, I, I you know, it's gonna. I think it's gonna get worse. I think it's gonna get worse before it gets better. Let me tell you. Anyway, I had a fun day. I haven't gone. Uh, man, I. Been, I've been driving around a lot. It's been a, just a crazy day of driving around, having fun, and uh, uh, just enjoying life for the moment. Let's see here. Not for sure if we got any buoys. Out. Well, there's quite a bit of buoys out there in the Atlantic. See if that does happen. If that does happen, we're going to definitely get some advance notice out there in the Canary Islands. Uh, no doubt from the you know professionals and the... Uh, well, the authorities, the authority figures, will definitely uh, send out um, warnings and whatnot. But we'll also get indications here from the um, uh, buoys and whatnot in the Atlantic Ocean. But uh, either way, scary, a little scary thought about that potential. Right now, everything's good, folks, in that region. As far as any type of tsunami, you know, we just won't know until it happens. So we just got to go with the flow. Go with the flow and be prepared. It would be horrible to see 80-foot uh, waves crashing into Florida. Florida is pretty low level. That would not be good. Uh, let's see what else we got here, guys. My mind's just kind of drawing a blank tonight. It's been a uh, it's been a fun day, let me tell you. Sunspots. We got some more sunspots coming around the bend, including the development right here, and also 2871 popping back up. You can see that kicking up around the globe or around the uh, sun disk as those will begin to venture into our neck of the woods and earth facing side here over the coming days uh, right now we're looking at a uh, kind of an elevated 25 percent chance of sea flare with a uh, m flare at five percent geomagnetic field and the aurora is looking pretty quiet kp index is down to zero over the last um couple hours or so all right guys have a good night um we will see if we can't find some more info on that uh, volcano in the uh canary islands and uh, see what we can uh, dig up on it but for now have a good night folks stay safe out there and uh, be prepared we'll chat you guys a little bit later what do we got 2.7 california there's a lot of activity kicking up here folks i mean we're we're uh Looking at a lot of old activity. If we were to drop this uh, activity out to the west here, it's pretty quiet. West Coast, North American Plate, uh, really getting in on some action over the last couple days. So uh, just be prepared, folks. Be prepared. We will chat you guys tomorrow after a hopefully decent night of sleep. Take care, everyone. Peace out.